Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Colors. This music is actually reminding me a little bit of the like, Billy Hatcher as well. Like Billy Hatcher had some like really cool um, tunes like that as well at some points in a. Um, speaking of Billy Hatcher, that is like one of the games that I really want to. One of the like it's pretty much the only. We get some speed going here. Thank you. Jeez, I didn't even see you. I have to kill you all though to unlock this like um zip line. Um, Billy Hatcher is like the the one incomplete LP of mine that I would actually love to um that I would actually love to get back to someday. Like it's and like I'm getting into I'm, I'm it, it's getting like um. Sometimes what happens with LPs like that is that like well what happened with me with Billy Hatcher I suppose is what I should what I should say is that Oh my god, how did I do that? I didn't even recognize what I was doing there. That was just pure instinct, like a parrot or a chameleon or something. I didn't even realize what I was doing. Um but yeah, what, what happened with me with Billy Hatcher is that it was just like, it was a very energy-consuming LP. So I did like commit to getting all of the chick coins and to doing all of the levels. Oh, I see, I can feel a float coming along. Well, no, I thought I could feel a float coming along, but no. You have this big GameCube guy. Um. Um. But it was a very, like, it took a lot of energy for me, is what I would like to say. Like, it was just a game that was really tough to, like, because there are certain elements of it. Whoa, that's, it's a bite. Why are you not letting me go that way? How ridiculous. Um... Like, look, it let me go there. Um, but yeah, it was just like, a, as, oh my god, I can't, like, I don't know what, how to control these lollipops. There's, like, one point where it, like, works well. Why, why is there not a float power up there? That's ridiculous. Um, we have, like, this guy, which, that's, like, one of the last whisks that you'll get to know. Oh my god. What is up with this? There, finally. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there. Oh my god, that, that's so finicky. And for no reason at that. No, 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 we're not going back down here again. No, I'm not doing this again either. Oh my god, what is what is going on in my life? Here, this is where we want to go. Um so yeah, like when by the time like I finished Billy Hatcher or like got up to the point where I had finished the main game, I was so like out of energy. Oh my god, it said slam. Come on and slam, if you want. Well, no, it's the other way around. Um, but I was so, like, down on energy and kind of tired of playing the game that I was just like, oh, I, I just can't face getting those, playing through those levels where the physics are somewhat unforgiving. Um, where, the, where the physics are really quite unforgiving um, and where getting those chick coins can actually be such a pain that I just left it for so so long but I'm getting to the point now where I'm like kind of like oh I haven't played Billy Hatcher in a really long time I'd love to play that game again because like Billy Hatcher does hold like a special place for me I, I'm a really big fan of just how kooky it is and how unorthodox it is just that kind of way because um I just think Sega, like when they do it right, like when 
when when they do things right, they really like. We've got these like gum drops here. Oh, you're gonna like shoot like several times. Um, I think when Sega do things right, and like like they have like imagination through up the wazoo. Like when it comes to games like Billy Hatcher and as I say like Space Channel Five, um, like that's another classic example. I'm gonna get this extra life. Cube. Um. Um. What was I saying? Like games like. I really shouldn't have picked that up, should I? Well, no, it doesn't matter. Look at me. I know I was like getting all scared. Hey, wait a second, I boosted you. Hey, I boost- oh, I was out of boost, sorry, I didn't boost you. <laughs> hey, booster, nobody loves you. Well, nobody likes you, booster. Oh my god. They're going crazy. Oh my god, they're going crazy, they really are. Whoa! Jeez, this game is like going to give me a heart attack. Um... But yeah, games like Space Channel 5, Jet Set Radio, like, um, the, like, Jet Set Radio, and now I'm just stuck thinking about Jet Set Radio, but games like Space Channel 5, Jet Set Radio, like, um, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, um, Samba de Amigo, all of those, like, brilliant games, like, and Typing of the Dead. It's just like, like for, it, that's what's so disappointing about Sega sometimes, is that they can make such brilliant games, and then they just don't, you know? And, like, Billy Hatcher is just a great example of one of those games, like Jet Set Radio, where it just as a really interesting concept you, you're you not going to see anywhere else. Um, and where they just ran with it and made, like, a really cute little gem of a game, it's just so fun. I'm pretty sure we- do we have time to do, like, this level? I'm pretty sure we do. Oh my god. The boss. It's almost like Peanut Park. Indeed I could, but I'm right here behind this generator. Sorry about, like, the coughing, but it's like the morning, so I have, like, this mucus build up. Oh no! Tails! Tails got the zap! It would have been really cool if they had brought back kind of mechanization from the Sonic games. Do you remember like the Sonic, like in the Sonic cartoon, like mechanization was such a big thing. Um, and like the fear of being turned into a robot and becoming Robotnik's slave. That's something they're kind of after letting up on in, in the newer Sonic games, because that's what it was all about before, was Sonic was like Robotnik imprisoning animals as robots. Especially since Tails' mind is so powerful, that you can take over Tails' mind, you can take over anyone. <laughs> Tails, buddy, are you all right? Huh? Where am I? Why is my nose hair tingling? <laughs> this game is so. <laughs> Ran out of juice. Oh. I'll get more, lots more, and then I won't just control one little punk, but the whole universe. In the meantime, enjoy the park. I'll leave you your own private tour guide. Well, gee, that's nice of him. Talk about service. Oh my god, look at that, like, Robotnik face on the front of the ship. We've got this crazy, um, pirate <laughs> captain guy. You he had an evil plot, and coming here was a good idea. There it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, we didn't bet. Dang. <laughs> oh my god. Try to take your job seriously, guys. Well, here's the boss of Sweet Mountain. But then I suppose, like, Tails, like, with Tails, you could always, like, um, prey on 
like you could prey on his ambition to want to be as good as Sonic. Ooh, I got the drill power up. Like with Tails, what what you could always do is like prey on his ambition to want to be as good as Sonic. So like if Tails is like all like, oh, I wish I were as um Can I like drill his ass? Yeah I can. <laughs> Can I drill his ass? Why not? That made things a lot easier. You didn't even get to see him hardly. But yeah, with this guy, like sometimes those like if you hit those um gumballs is the best way I could describe it. Well, you'll get the drill power up, and then you can just use that against the boss, and it makes things like a hell of a lot easier. But I kind of like this boss. I like I kind of like bosses where you have to get to them and then fight them and then get to them again where they kind of combine like Okay, I'm going to get him again. And they very kindly as well like show you where he's going to be into the bargain. Oh, did I get him all did I kill him already? Jeez. <laughs> he went down like a lead balloon. That's the thing, if you don't get the drill power up, you end up there having to dodge all that mess and fight him into the bargain. Oh my god, if I don't get an A for that. I got an A, just like Lydia. Where are my dancing zombie football players if I don't get that life? Where are my dancing zombie football players? Um, sorry, that was a weird noise. It was like... Um... But yeah, like, with Tails, like, he wants to be as good as Sonic, so you could, like, unlock that, what, that that poisonous ambition in his mind to use it against him, is what you could do. But then I'm not supposed to be the villain here. Hey, Sonic, did you give the guide your complaint? <laughs> I gave it to him pretty good. I gave him a piece of my so mind. <laughs> Our little alien friend. How do they know I have gas? <laughs> it's like in Dumb and Dumber when they leave that note saying like sorry about the money gas man or whatever. So no burps. Well that's a relief. Tell me about it. So basically, Eggman is using five tractor beam generators to hold their planet in orbit while he scoops the aliens all up. Oh, the poor wisps. It's tiny, but still, yeah. Okay, fine. Five generators? Well, I've already leveled two. So, if my math is correct, that leaves us three more of those bad boys to take out. Nobody said there'd be math, but I'm with you, buddy. We should get moving. Yakra says the aliens don't have much time. Once I start moving, I don't need much time. So with that cutscene, do they have, like... I can't remember, do they, like, change it based on whether you've taken out one or two of them? Mind control weapon will be full of energy I've siphoned from the aliens, and Sonic's world will be the center of my interplanetary theme. The planet Mobius. Yes, I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? Oh my god, Texan Robotnik has to be something at some stage. Just need to install it. But then he'd just be like that that guy with the guitar in the home on the range. Would pretty much just be the character or Yosemite Sam. I don't think anything could have been more annoying than that cowboy chatter. Oh my god, that is more annoying. Jeez, did you ever think you'd hear the day? Oh my god, Robotnik's so sassy. Um, oh, I was talking about, like, roboticization. That's what I was talking about. 
It will be the crown jewel of my amusement park. The greatest amusement park in the universe. <laughs> oh, so he's like... I think I gloated so hard I pulled a muscle. <laughs> God. So his plan is actually to make an amusement park. That is his, his ultimate plan is to have a successful amusement park. Like how ridiculous. Like that, that that's his actual ultimate plan. How funny. <laughs> It's just that he wants Mobius to be the part of it, okay. Um, but yeah, roboticization used to be like the whole crux of the Sonic universe, I suppose, or Robotnik's evil schemes, and they're kind of after playing that down. Like, now it's just like taking over the world by way of mind control or big weapons or things like that. It's like, I don't know. Where will we go next? Planet Wisp? Aquarium Park, um, Meteor Coaster, or whatever it's called. Um, Planet Wisp, this is the level with the best map overworld theme, listen. Like, if you just give it time to develop, like, if you give it time to develop into what it's going to be, it is just so good, and this world is so beautiful. Oh my god, I love it. This is what I use as, like, the ending card music. I'm actually spoiled for choice because I love these two worlds, like both Planet Wisp and Aquarium Park. I'm, I'm actually thinking I might do them in this order. Um, just because I kind of like finishing with this one, it has a kind of a final world kind of a vibe to it. So yeah, I think we'll go in, in this order clockwise, but that's it for this part of Let's Play Sonic Colors. Thanks a million for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye now.